Here we are in Newfoundland. And again, even the name, Newfoundland. You see, this was the Newfound Land, the first place where people came across the ocean and found this new land. And it was here that Canada really began over 500 years ago. So profound that we're here today. And this was the first British colony. And of course, yesterday was the Queen's funeral. And today is a new day. You see, a new day is dawning. And we're standing in the very place where the sun first hits North America. The very place where the new day begins. And this is, again, a brand new day where the king is coming into his rightful place. You see, I believe the monarchy has come to an end on this earth. But the king of kings is coming into his rightful place upon this land that he shall have dominion from sea to sea. And of course, as Carmen and I have driven the Ark of the, the New Covenant, the Ark of the Kingdom, as, this, as we've traveled across this country over 8,500 kilometers from coast to coast, hitting all the capitals and hitting the, each province as we've come across, we arrive here this morning, this new day, where the king is coming into his rightful place. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you for all that you're doing. We thank you for this new day. And Lord, as we come to set up the altar of 12 stones, these 12 stones of light that came from under the lighthouse in Vancouver, have traveled across the country and now going to be set up here as that altar, Lord, from sea to sea. And as we collect the 12 stones, this is an incredible day, an incredible morning as we watch the sun rising here in the distance. Well, here we are again in this incredibly beautiful location in Newfoundland, uh, of course, part of Newfoundland and Labrador. And here we are in Cape Spear, the most easterly point of all of North America. We've just watched the sunrise. It's still right there, a glorious day. Uh, it was meant to be very cloudy this morning. And yet, as we continue to pray and declare that the Lord would give us a glorious morning, which it is. And so, Lord, we thank you and praise you for this, this incredible morning that we're here. September 20th, 2022. Again, connected. Yesterday, we had Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Today is a new day. A new day has dawned in this most easterly point. The Lord puts all of this timing together. We stand here with these 12 stones that came out from under the lighthouse on the Pacific Ocean. And we're preparing here to set this up as an altar from the west, from the Pacific, all the way here to the Atlantic. And then we'll be bringing 12 stones out with us. I also have the spike which will be driving in the ground here, setting this place up as an altar of the kingdom. We'll be taking communion, communion elements, and all of those things. We also have water here. We, we grab some water out of the Pacific Ocean. We'll be pouring some of this over this altar. We also took some water out of my stream, connecting sort of the rivers uh, across this nation as well. Because we know that God is having, is, it has dominion from sea to sea, and from the rivers to the very ends of the earth. And we're declaring that today. On this new day, this new dawning, an incredible time to be here. So thankful for our friends who have brought these flags all the way across from Nunavut and the, the territories from BC and Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec. And we have the, the Maritimes provinces, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI, and Labrador and Newfoundland well represented and here in the middle the flag of Canada because we are decreeing that Canada is again a nation under God and that he has a huge plan and a purpose and we know the Lord said as we took these stones across this nation as we take 12 stones from under this amazing Cape Spear lighthouse you couldn't set this up any better than this from under this lighthouse, taking 12 stones with us back to
to the Pacific Ocean as we're going to set that up on Sukkot, as the Lord put all the timing of all these dates into place. I'm just overwhelmed by being here today and all that the Lord has orchestrated on this glorious, I just stand, sit here with, I stand here with the sun just radiating in the warmth of his presence. You see, we're in the warmth of the sun's presence, both S-U-N and S-O-N. We stand in the warmth of the presence of the sun. And Jesus, we thank you and praise you for all that you're doing. You are so glorious and magnificent. I'm overwhelmed that you allow us to participate in these things. We give you all glory and praise. And so now I'm going to come and, Carm, if you want to move around a little bit. We're on a bit of a serious slope here, so <laughs> Carm's going to see if she can move here without uh, tumbling down. But, of course, uh, in this time, we, we've just... As we've driven now, I think it's about 8,800 kilometers to be here. Just what an incredible honor to come, representing from the west here to the furthest east, to come and to take this spike. Again, the Lord has fun with the name Mike the Spike, but here I am as Michael. He's, he gave me that name at birth. I thank you. Now just aware of the angels that are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, a myriad of angels coming and participating in this glorious time. Just sense them all around as they're here. Archangel Michael, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. So I take this now as we place this in the cleft of this rock, the Atlantic Ocean right behind us here, as this is looking from the lighthouse where the spike goes in onto this ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. I'll put this in the ground now. Mm. So, Lord, we do, as we drive this in, declaring your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we give you all glory and praise as we put this spike, as we know, Lord, these very spikes representing the spikes that went into your hands and into your feet. Lord, that you endured those spikes for us. And we now put this spike connected to your sacrifice, connected to the spikes that went into your hands. We drive it into the earth. And we know that this spike connected to the 50 spikes across the United States, connected to the 12 spikes that Tim and Dutch Sheets brought up into Canada, and connected to these spikes that you've had it having us doing uh, back in BC and in Ottawa and now here on the furthest eastern point. Lord, we're just overwhelmed by all that you're doing. And now come to set up these stones from, uh, again, under the lighthouse park at the lighthouse in uh, Vancouver, coming here and setting this altar up now into this place. Lord, we thank you and praise you. For all that you're doing here, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Praise you. <clears throat> praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. All that you're doing in our midst, Lord. We give you glory and praise. Glory and You get to even see some of the barnacles here on these stones. Again, from the Pacific to the Atlantic, from sea to sea. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you for what you're doing. 
Lord, we know that you are bringing a significant change in these days. Lord, we thank you for all that you are accomplishing in this time. Lord, we're just overwhelmed again by your presence, by your, by your, the opportunity to be used by you in this way. And now we take some of the water out of our stream representing the rivers of water. We pour this over this altar. We say from the rivers to the ends of the earth. And now take the water out of the Pacific Ocean and pour that over this. From the Pacific to the Atlantic and from sea to sea. So obviously we know that uh, in the Parliament buildings this uh, is inscribed there on the wall. I just want to read it. We quote it often. I just wanted to read it out of Psalm 72 verse 8. And may he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. And we do. We declare that today as I come to read some of these decrees uh, and just stating the dominion, the ruleship, the, the authority that we are declaring that Lord God Almighty, Yahweh, is over this nation from coast to coast, from sea to sea and to sea and all across this nation. As we've traveled across, we see all these flags representing coming across. I now want to just read out some of this decree declaring the presence and what God is doing in our midst. And so, Lord Jesus, we reassert your dominion over Canada and that you alone are God. Yeah. You are the God of Israel, the God of Canada, yeah. and we are your covenant nation. Yeah. We proclaim you we pro proclaim you will never break your covenant nor alter the word yeah. that has gone out from your lips. And we decree that we are your people and you are our God. We come boldly, courageously, and expectantly before you, declaring that your ecclesia is rising and is shining. Yeah. Evil is being rooted out yeah. of Canada yeah. and is being reformed. And you, God, always prevail. Demonic yeah. idols always fail. Yeah. And we declare your victory. You have won. Satan, you have lost. Yeah. This is our land, and that you, our God, have given us, and we will not be removed from it. Father in heaven, we give you all glory and praise and honor to your name. We command that your kingdom to come here on this earth yeah. as it is in heaven, and, we, and that you would give us this day our daily bread, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Yeah. Jesus, we want all of you. We thank you for get, forgiving us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, offend, and grieve us. And we thank you, Father, for leading us away from temptation and delivering us from the evil one. Lord, yours is the kingdom and all the glory forever and ever. And in Jesus' name, we declare that we refuse to tolerate evil in any form and command it now to go. By the power of your spirit, Ruach, we choose to forgive our leaders and release them into your hands. For you alone are the righteous judge. We thank you and declare that the walls around our respective Jerichos have come down. Yes, we decree that your truth, justice, righteousness, and godly governance upon our land uh, and our nation is rising in this very hour and that the enemy we see today will be no more. Yeah. Yes, we agree. Yeah. Jeremiah 1.10 sa has said, Today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and to tear down, to destroy and to overflow, to build and to plant. Yeah. We take that authority in the name yeah. of, God, of the God of the armies of Israel, and we command all works of darkness that have taken up residence in our federal government, our provinces, our cities, our 
counties, all works of darkness in our municipalities, schools, courts, media, corporations, and all twisted and deluded teachings in our yes. churches and homes to be rooted out, yes. pulled down and destroyed now Amen. so we can rebuild in Jesus' name. Amen, God. We declare that all that can be shaken, not born of you, be shaken so that all that remains is all that can remain. We thank you, Lord, yes. that there is nothing in secret that shall not be made manifest and that the enemy is being exposed and dealt a devastating blow. Yes. Yes. Father God and King Jesus, we the Ecclesia, empowered by your Holy Spirit, come before you in this place in unity and of one accord, standing against the desecration of our nation yes. from within the whole land of Canada. And Lord, we thank you and praise you for what you're doing. I will now read out the 22 declarations over Canada. And we come now to decree and declare that God reigns as king over yes. Canada, yes. Yes. over all of the territories and provinces, yes. and over Canada, yes. yes. We decree and declare that Canada will always be a truly free nation. Yes. We do. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. freedom. There is freedom. Yes, we declare that. Yes, Lord. We declare and decree that justice will rule in our nation. Yes. And we will be at peace. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare that King Jesus will execute judgment and righteousness throughout the land. May Canadians be one with each other just as Jesus and the Father are one. We decree and declare the unity of Canadians yes. will command God's blessing. Canada's prodigals will return and yes. its families will be restored yes, to yes. remove the curse upon our land. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare that the Lord will restore what the locust has eaten and never again will his people be disgraced. We decree and declare that the thief has been caught yes. and yes. must repay sevenfold yes. what has been stolen. We decree and declare that the business of Canada will thrive and lend to many. We decree and declare that we have everything we need because the Lord is our shepherd. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. We decree and declare that Canada has a bright hope for a prosperous future. We decree and declare that the people of Canada will not be afraid because God walks with us. Yes, Lord, we want to cast out the spirit of fear across this land, Lord. We shatter, we shatter the domes of deceptions that have been yes, over each city, yes, over each na over each province, and over this nation. We shatter, shatter the dome of deception, Lord, that fear would be cast out and that the people of God would rise up in truly who we are in these days. We thank you and yes. praise you, Lord. Yes. We decree yes, and declare all that you are doing in our midst lord we do we decree and declare that canada will export healing to the nations we decree and declare that canadians will go out in joy yes, yes. and be led forth in peace yes, yes. we decree and declare that canada and the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord, yes, lord. as the waters cover yes. the sea yes, amen. i mean just to look at this yes, sea just lord. pan out I mean, we, you can walk, look all the way to Europe. Just yes, amazing Lord. as you read those words. Canada and the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover yes. the sea. Yes. Wow. Yes. Never have I read that to be more true than standing here. Yes. Looking at the vastness yes. of this Atlantic Ocean. The stillness. I was here yesterday. It was so windy. Just the stillness of today, yeah. the presence of God in this place, as all the angels are around us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I will read it again. We decree and declare, Canada, the whole earth, will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. We decree and declare God's kingdom will come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We decree and declare that the Lord is Canada's strong refuge when trouble comes. 
We decree and declare God has armed us with strength for the battle and will subdue our enemies. We decree and declare that nothing can separate the people of Canada from the love of God. We decree and declare God is working all things together for our good. And we decree and declare the Lord has made our nation great. He has extended our borders and we will give him all the glory and yes. praise. praise. Lord, we give you all the glory and praise. And we thank you, Lord, for appointing sons and daughters you have raised up and anointed who stand for your agenda locally, regionally, and nationally. We call them forth now to displace evil in every structure of our society and to open their mouths and roar with the Lion of Judah and to do what they know they are to do in this hour, to put down the fear of man and to rise up in the fear of the Lord, to speak truth, to act justly, and to enter the temple of our God, our Dominion of Canada, right here, as we stand here in Cape Spear, Newfoundland, and across this nation. We declare that your kingdom is invading Canada and spreading across the entire nation and to the ends of the earth. Your will is being done in the land from sea to sea and from the river to yes. the ends of the earth. Yes. And that Canada and the whole world is being yes. saved in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes. Lord, every promise of yours is coming to pass. No man or devil will ever make you a liar. King Jesus, you will have the full reward of your sufferings on the tree, born out in your international bride. Yes. We take this today and declare that yours is the victory. It is your victory. Lord God, host of heaven, make it so. Yes. We declare, make it so, and amen. Yes. We now come with the communion elements. Lord God, we just thank you, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach. Yes. We praise you as we just put a spike representing the spikes that went into your hands and feet into this land. Lord, feeling the connection of all the spikes across the states and across Canada. Lord, the earth shaking as we thrust that spike into the ground. We now anoint this altar with a sacrifice. Altars need a sacrifice. And you see Jesus was the perfect and final sacrifice ever needed for us for us to be made holy and righteous in the sight of the Father. That the, Lord, the very one who spoke the universe into existence would choose to come in the form of a man, to humbly walk those years here on the earth, and then to choose to lay himself down, to take the abuse, to be ripped wide open, to bleed. He bled profusely and chose to lay himself down on the cross, taking those nails into his hands and his feet for us and in our place so that we could be set free. We declare the freedom that comes through the body and the blood of you, Yeshua. We praise you. We give you a glory and praise. We take this now as I break this over this altar. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for your sacrifice. the altar of the kingdom. And Lord, we come now, this representing your blood, pour it out for us and in our place. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord, for your sacrifice. Praise you, Lord. And I now just come with this oil representing your presence. Lord, praise you, praise you, Lord. Praise you for all that you've done us and in our place Lord we do we give you all glory and praise Lord this is the dawning of a new day yes. this is just so unbelievably extraordinary to be here with our new friends 
all the friends that we met from coast to coast. You know, every place that we went, people told me how incredibly important their city was for the transformation of Canada. And the Lord said to me, yes, it was true in every city, in every place that people believed that their city was so incredibly important for the transformation of Canada. And the Lord said, yes, it is true in every place. Because as we, the sons and daughters of God, speak those things, we speak them, they are true. We speak them, we hear them, we live them out. That this nation is being transformed through all the people of God, through each city, through the tears that have been shed, the prayers that have been prayed for hundreds of years. You see, as we went across, the Lord showed me that all these prayers for these hundreds of years and these numbers of decades and these last years and months and days, all the prayers of the saints coast to coast, Yes, they've gone up as a fragrance to the throne room, but he's also shown me that those prayers were like an oil that went into the earth. And he says, as you go, you're igniting the oil of the prayers of the saints, the tears that have been shed for the cities, uh, for the provinces, and for this nation. And that is being ignited from coast to coast. And as we tried that, oh man, I feel this. Woo! Praise you, Lord. Praise you. That as we have driven from coast to coast, as we come today, driving this spike in the ground, building this altar of light, that has been gone from coast to coast and taking the 12 stones of light back, that this nation is being flip-flopped, that the, the prayers, that the igniting of the prayers that have lit up a fire across this nation, the fire of God in the people of God, to take our rightful place is the ecclesia, the governance. And so we thank you and praise you. We give you all glory and praise, Lord, for your presence here. Again, just so thankful to have these flags. Just so amazing. So thankful to just see this nation from coast to coast represented, all the peoples represented across this land. Lord, we thank you and praise you. I now come to blow this, yes, we of course connect with uh, Israel as well. And as we come into these fall feasts, looking forward to being down in Point Pili on the Yom Teruah, Feast of Trumpets. But now as we come in the midst of all this, just to blow the shofar and declare that the king has come and taken his dominion from coast to coast and from sea to sea to the, ver the rivers and the very ends of the earth. Let me blow this. to what you're continuing to do on this dawning of this new day. Let's just look back out over the waters this time. Amen. Well, here we are. We're now at the point of collecting the rocks to bring back to the Pacific coast from the Atlantic to the Pacific, the lighthouse right there. Uh, we are coming down now under the lighthouse. I see it directly, the light flash in this direction. And so here, as you can tell, very big, hard rock. But there are some pieces of rock right here that I'm going to start to collect as the Lord shows me. Here's one for sure. See that already? So I'm just going to start now going around collecting these stones that we are bringing back. Nobody else with us. We've climbed quite a ways down uh, the ocean right behind us. And yes, the waves end up crashing up into this area. And so I'm uh, just now going to start collecting these stones that we will be bringing back. So here we are in this incredibly beautiful place, rugged as can be here on the Atlantic where the craziest of waves and winds. Yesterday it said the waves were three to four meters. So we're talking somewhere 12 to 16 feet. Uh, the waves crashing here, a little less today, but you still hear the roar 
behind us. We've collected these 12 stones under the lighthouse, these 12 stones of light that we're bringing with us now back to the Pacific Ocean. And again, Lord, we give you all glory and praise for what you're doing in our midst as we look at this beautiful ocean beside us here. We just thank you and praise you for all that has taken place here. Or maybe even just swing around and show the lighthouse and, uh, and what's all behind us. The original lighthouse, the new lighthouse, the whole mountainside here. We again are under the lighthouse. Not sure how windy this is going to sound, but we, we do. We come with these 12 stones that we just grab from under the lighthouse and uh, knowing that the Lord said to take 12 stones from the west to the east then once we've established that altar here from the Pacific to the Atlantic to take find 12 stones and to bring these from the Atlantic to the Pacific the 12 stones of light and as we travel turning our vehicle into the Ark of the Kingdom traveling from coast to coast to coast, back and forth as the nation's being flip-flopped as a king of kings takes his rightful place to have dominion from sea to sea, yes. through the, to the rivers, to the very ends of the earth. And we thank you and yes. praise you. Yes. Lord, it's through your body, through your blood, yes, as we come now, we just thank you thank for God. your sacrifice. Thank, thank you, you that you would take our thank punishment you, upon yourself so that we could be free. Yes. We declare your freedom, yes. your freedom yes. that you've yes. given us where the Spirit of the Lord is, yes. there is freedom. Yes. Yes. And we thank yes. you and praise you for your sacrifice for yes. us and in our place. Let's take and eat the body together. your blood for us yes. your blood was poured out but it started when you were in the garden saying to the father father must I go through this is there any other way and in the midst of declaring father not my will but your will be done yes. your blood the blood came from your pores the first blood was shed by the decision the fullness of your humanity to endure the type of punishment that you would have to endure for our sake and for our freedom and we thank you and praise you Lord for your blood poured out for us we take this to receive the forgiveness of our sins and we take this for the healing of this nation yes. from yes. coast to coast yes. that is by your stripes we are healed by your stripes Canada is healed and by your blood we receive the healing for ourselves, our families, this city, provinces, and this nation. In Jesus' name, let's take a drink together. Yes, Lord. It says in uh, 1 Corinthians 11, it, it uses the term on the night he was betrayed. Yes. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord, that everything in this land that has betrayed your son, Jesus Christ, right. Lord, as we commune with you, yeah. you would Break its power in Jesus' name. Yes, we yes. agree. Amen. 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 That is good. So now we come and we uh, ignite, in one sense, these stones under the lighthouse, these stones of light. And we pour the blood of Jesus upon these stones. Preparation for this journey. And Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We take this body. We break it. also come with the oil and just anoint each of these stones. Uh, we thank you and praise you, Lord, what you did. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For these stones that will be traveling, 
And Lord, we give you all glory and praise for what you're doing in our midst. Yes. In Jesus' name.